Hi, Andreas. Thank you for coming. Thank um, you. Here in Argentina, people don't like to pay taxes, and we have very high inflation. <laughs> 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 If you are going into a world without cash, as the use of anonymous cryptocurrencies becomes mainstream, do you think that governments will find it hard to earn money through taxes and control what people earn and buy and sell? And do you think this is a good thing or a bad thing? Um, yes, I think the traditional mechanisms of taxation are going to encounter difficulty. And they're going to encounter difficulty if they refuse to change. But there are many mechanisms of taxation that can be operated that work. Um, sales tax is one example. You can implement cryptocurrencies themselves with various forms of progressive and regressive taxes. Not that I'm recommending this. I'm simply saying we will see all of those possibilities being explored. There is a common argument you hear that, and I, I hear this especially in countries where taxation is a problem, uh, like my home country, Greece. I talk about cryptos in Greece, and people say, but people already don't pay taxes. How are we going to build the roads? Well, first of all, there were roads before there were taxes. <laughs> Secondly, as we are saying this, we are in an auditorium that was built by private money. And, and, you know, and in the case I did this in Greece, they had actually had the government confiscated afterwards, and then it fell into disrepair. So there is that. Um, but then there is also the idea that if you live in a society where you have valuable and desired services delivered to you, a social safety net, retirement in your old age, and things like that. People pay taxes for that. And they pay taxes more voluntarily than they do in countries where they get nothing in return. What is ironic is, you would expect, if this argument is correct, that the countries that have the strictest rules, controls, bureaucracies, and that carefully monitor your bank, and pull taxes out of every tiny corner of the environment, are the ones that collect the most taxes, the ones that have the lowest tax evasion. It is the exact opposite. It is the exact opposite. I sometimes try to explain taxation to my Greek relatives in America. They are like, well, how, do you know, how does the government know how much you make? Because I tell them every April. <laughs> well, why do you tell them? <laughs> okay, let's rewind. So the only reason you're paying taxes is because otherwise they would figure out on their own how much you make and you'd go to jail. Is that the only reason you pay taxes? And in some countries that is the only reason people pay taxes. It's like, okay, great. So what you're saying is you are a failed society. Right? The taxes are a symptom of a failed society. A society in which people don't believe that they will get something for their taxes that their taxes will be given or used to do something useful. And I'm not a huge fan of taxes. I'm not a huge fan of big governments either. But there is something to be said about failed states, right? And there are plenty of states where the tax rate is really, really low and people pay taxes very, very comfortably and you go out and the roads are actually amazing. Right? Um, in fact, it's exactly the countries in which people say, well, who will build the roads? where the immediate next question is, have you seen the roads? Because I have, and they are full of holes. <laughs> so, this is a matter of whether societies can adapt to an environment where people don't just pay taxes, knowing that those taxes will be wasted, misused, used to bomb other people, quite honestly. I am American. Um, and and event, or to create refugees, that then we say, no, no, you can't come here. Well, why did you bomb my fucking village then? <laughs> I go back. It's not there anymore. <laughs> so taxes and the problems that crypto will create for taxes are both symptoms of deeper problems in our society. Today we accept the idea that multinational companies and billionaires get away with not paying taxes. 
And the only time we see that as a problem is when the entire middle class can use the same level of power. And that tells you the problem isn't the taxes. 